because of course we are meeting at a time when a lot of people expect tumultuous change. The world is looking for direction. That may represent huge changes in the world order as we have known it. The office of President of the United States. Donald Trump, soon to be installed at the White House, has said the kind of movement that brought him to power has never been seen before in the world. He's defining a clear path for himself. Today we're actually seeing what our new world order might look like. Twenty seventeen. There is a palpable uncertainty about the state of the world. Right at the beginning was Dr. Kissinger talking about the disintegration of the old order as we understand it. Even more important today than they were then, because now we need a concept of world order that is for the first time in history that all parts of the world can directly affect all other parts. How do you see the current climate? I think there is no question that we are at quite a unique point in time. I've not seen anything like the situation we are in in, in my lifetime. The changes certainly brought by technology are only going to accelerate. Think about the technology we have today and add on. A lot of people, I think, would like to just pretend it's not happening and reject it. The pace of change is accelerating dramatically. And hope that they manage to make it into their 50s or 60s without it really disrupting their life too much. But um, clearly you cannot do that when it is coming at you like a freight train. And I am absolutely convinced that all the new technology we're seeing will have one side to it that can be negatively disruptive, but also one side to it that can be extremely positive.